Hemavata, Hemavata Sutta, 153. Today is the 15th, the 4th Sutta, say the Yaka Satagura. A celestial light has arrived, come, that is the Gautama, the teacher of perfect name. 154. Is the mind of the impartial one, say the Yaka Hemavata, well disposed towards all beings? Has he mastered his intentions towards the desirable and undesirable? 155. The mind of the impartial one, said the Yaka Satagira, is well disposed towards all beings. He has mastered his intentions towards the desirable and undesirable. 156. Does he avoid taking what has not been given? said the Yaka Hemavata. Is he self-controlled in regard to living beings? Does he keep far from heedlessness? Is he not devoid of jhana? 157. He does not take what has not been given, said the Yaka Satagira, and is self-controlled in regard to living beings. He also keeps far from heedlessness. The Buddha is not devoid of jhana. 158. Does he avoid speaking falsely? said the Yaka Hemavata. Is his way of speaking not rough? Does he not say anything destructive? Does he not speak idle chatter? 159. He does not speak falsely, said the Yaka Satagira, and his way of speaking is not rough. He does not say what is destructive. With reflection, he speaks what is meaningful. 160. Does he have no lust for sensual flashes? said the Yaka Hemavata. Is his mind unsullied? Has he overcome delusion? Does he have the vision of a phenomena? 161. He has no lust for sensual flashes, said the Yaka Satagira. And his mind is unsullied. He has overcome all delusion. The Buddha has a vision for phenomena. 162. Is he endowed with clear knowledge? said the Yaka Hemavata. Is he also pure in conduct? Have the influxes been destroyed by him? Is there for him no renewed existence? 163. He is endowed with clear knowledge, said the Yaka Satagira. He is also pure in conduct. All the influxes have been destroyed by him. For him there is no renewed existence. Hemavata 163 The Muni's mind is accomplished with respect to action and way of speech. In accordance with the Dhamma you praise him, one accomplished in clear knowledge and conduct. Satagira 163 The Muni's mind is accomplished with respect to actions and way of speech. In accordance with Dhamma, you rejoice over one accomplished in clear knowledge and conduct. 164. The Muni's mind is accomplished with respect to action and way of speech. Come, let's go see Gautama. One accomplished in clear knowledge and conduct. Hemavata. 165. Come, let's go see Gautama. The Muni meditating in the woods with antelope. Cows, slender, a hero, eating little, greedless. 166. Having approached the Naga, who is like a lion, wandering alone, in different sensual pleasures, let's ask about release from the snare of death. Satagira and Hemavata. 167. Let's us ask Gautama, the expounder, the instructor one common beyond all phenomena the buddha who has overcome enmity and peril 168 in what has the world arisen said the yaka hemavata in what does it form intimacy having clung to what is the world afflicted in regard to what 169 in six the world has arisen hemavata said the blessed one in six it forms intimacy 
having clung to six, the world is afflicted in regard to six. 170. What is the clinging in which the world is afflicted? When asked about the outlet, tell, how is one released from suffering? 171. Five stands of sensual pleasure, with mind as sixth are declared in the world. Having unplanked desire for this, one is thereby released from suffering. 172. This outlet from the world has been expounded to you just as it is. This is what I declare to you. One is thereby released from suffering. 173. Who here crosses the flood? Who here crosses the sea? Who does not sink in the deep, which is without foothold, without support? 174. One always accomplished in good behavior, endowed with wisdom, well concentrated, inwardly reflective, mindful, causes the flood so hard to cross. 175. One who has abstained from sensual perception, who has overcome all fighters, who has utterly destroyed delight and existence, he does not sink in the deep. 176. Behold him of deep wisdom, the one who sees the subtle meaning, owning nothing, unattached to the sensual pleasures and existence. Behold him, everywhere released, the great Rishi treading the divine path. 177. Behold him of perfect name, the one who sees the subtle meaning, the giver of wisdom, unattached to the lie of sensual pleasures, all-knowing, very wise, the great Rishi threading the noble path. 178. Today indeed we have had a good sight, a good morning, a good arising, since we have seen the enlightened one, one without influxes who has crossed the flood. 179. These thousand yakas possessing psychic potency and fame all go to you for refuge. You are our unsurpassed teacher. 180. We will wander from village to village, from mountain to mountain, paying homage to the enlightened one and to the excellence of the Dhamma. 